what is particle wall? In this video, I'm going to be sharing seven tips and there are going to be some quizzes at the end. So stay tuned for that as well. And of course, there are time codes of chapters. So feel free to skip the part and click where you want to watch. But first, let me show you how to use particle wall in my morning routine. I want you to pay attention to the position where particle wall is located. Ready? Alarmu wo tomeru. Shower wo abiru. Ha wo migaku. Kohi wo nomu. Oatmeal wo taberu. Message wo check suru. YouTube wo miru. What did you notice? Where was the particle wall in each sentence? If you notice this pattern, object plus wo plus verb, you are a smart learner. Great job! So let's dive right into tip number one. Object plus particle wo plus verb. I mentioned in the beginning that I was about to talk about my morning routine, right? So the subject in all those sentences are technically I. In Japanese, if the subject or the topic is obvious, we don't even mention it. So that's why there's no subject in all those sentences. If I want to put a subject, it comes before an object and it usually comes with a particle. It could be topic marker wa or subject marker ga, for example. Watashi wa alarmu wo. Tomeru. But again, we don't say that if the subject is clear. So as you noticed, particle wo comes right after an object. That is why it's called direct object particle or object marker particle. The object gets or receives the action of the verb. Does that make sense? Let's place them vertically. Object, wo, verb. It's like a sandwich, right? Try to remember the sandwich. All right, let's see if you can do it. Tell me I watch anime in Japanese. Here are particle wo, anime, miru, to see. I'm gonna give you three seconds to put these words into the right order. Remember, there's no subject I in this sentence. Ready? Ich, ni, san. All right, the answer is anime wo miru. Miru is to see. See what? Anime. So anime is an object here. So remember the sandwich? The order is object, wo, verb, right? Did you get it? Let's do one more quiz with the subject and actually comes with the particle wa, which in this case is a topic marker. Here are biru, particle wo, naomi san wa, nomu, to drink. I'm gonna give you five seconds this time. Ich, ni, san, shi, go. All right, the answer is Naomi san wa biru wo nomu. Nomu, to drink. Drink what? Beer. So, biru is an object here. And particle wo comes right after beer. And then the verb. Object, wo, verb. So that was the most basic usage of particle wo. Some people, including myself, pronounce it more as wo, but it's widely pronounced as o in the sentence. Yes, it's the same pronunciation as this o. So you might see both w o and o in romaji, which is like English pronunciation aid, in your textbooks and other YouTube videos. When you want to type this letter, wo, you have to type as wo to get this letter. And also, wo is a particle, as we all know, and nothing else. So it's always written in hiragana and never in katakana or kanji because all the particles are written in hiragana. Although wo is pronounced as o, it won't be able to replace wo with o in writing or typing. For example, anime o miru cannot be replaced by anime o miru in writing or typing. 
Well, we never know in the future as language is always changing. And if you are watching this many years from now, and if you would write O for O, please let me know in the comments. Another important thing about particle wo is that when you want to say to cross, to pass, or to go through something or somewhere, you're going to use particle wo. And it's going to be the same order as tip number one object, wo, verb. The sandwich again. To cross, to pass, to go through. They're pretty much the same thing, right? So basically, imagine the movement of passing something or somewhere. Here are some examples. Golden Gate Bridge wo wataru Central Park wo toru. And it's not exactly the same thing, but similar idea of passing or going through. Here are two more examples. Sora wo tobu. It's very hard to translate directly as there's no exact word, but this time, think about the nuance of being away from something or somewhere. Here are four examples. I am absent from school. Basically, I am away from school. I leave Japan. Again, you're away from Japan. Basu wo oriru. I get off from the bus. Basically, you're going away from the bus. Tennis club wo yameru. I quit tennis club. Again, you no longer belong to the club and you're away from it. Those sentences all have some sort of expressions of being away from something or somewhere. I hope that makes sense. If you have learned transitive and intransitive verbs, you know exactly what I'm gonna say here. If you haven't learned them yet, it's worth your time to know this rule. Intransitive means that something naturally happens without any effort. Transitive means that something or someone intentionally makes something happen. Higa kieru. Fire burns out by itself. Hi wo kesu. Someone puts out the fire intentionally. As you can see, the transitive verb comes right after particle wo. Here's another example. Jugyo ga hajimaru. Class starts by itself. Jugyo wo hajimeru. Someone starts the class on purpose. With the very few exceptions, it's safe to say that when you see wo plus verb, the verb is a transitive verb. When you are ordering food or buying something at a supermarket, you're gonna need these phrases wo plus kudasai or wo plus onegaishimasu. Both of them mean pretty much the same thing and basically means please in English. It's not exactly the same, but anyways. Wo kudasai. Chūrippu wo kudasai. Wo onegaishimasu. Okaike wo onegaishimasu. So just try to remember as a set. Wo plus onegaishimasu or wo plus kudasai. Quite honestly, I could see myself dropping wo from all those sentences that I use in this video. So why did I even make this video about particle wo? Here's the thing. It's always good to know the basic rule and grammar first because wo will be written in formal writing and spoken in formal speech. So I wanted to show you the basic grammar and rule first, but I also wanted to let you know that you will see people dropping wo quite often, especially in casual conversations or casual messages in social media. So those are the seven tips. Did I answer some of your questions about particle wo? Let's do some quizzes now. 
I'm gonna talk about my bad days. So there's no subject I because the subject is obvious. Let's put them into the right order. Remember the sandwich? Kobosu, to spill. Wo, kohi. Ready? Ich, ni, san. Kohi wo kobosu. Wasureru, to forget. Wo, sumaho, smartphone. Ready? Ich, ni, san. Sumaho wo wasureru. Wo, saifu, otosu, to drop. Ich, ni, san. Saifu wo otosu. Now that you've learned particle wo, you might want to learn other particles too. And here's a video for you. Enjoy your learning, smart learners. Mata ne!